Ah, toilet. One of nature's greatest mysteries. Where does the water come from? Where does it go? How can you clog a vortex leading to the deepest depths of the abyss? Ah, isn't nature a mystery? The great thing about toilets is that it doesn't matter who you are. We've all been to that one bathroom that made us go, nope, no, 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 no. Screw it. I am holding it till we're back home. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I know it's summer break. I am holding it till I'm back home. The only thing worse than a disgusting toilet, though, is a person harassing you at the toilet. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. The person who tries to break the door down while you're just trying to do your business. I mean, here I am, peacefully sitting in my stall, when someone enters the room and respectfully recognizes that they should knock first to check if someone is in the bathroom, only to... FBI, open up! Who are you trying to reach with that knock? This isn't some sort of three-bedroom, two-story house where a soft knock would go unheard. It's a stall, and now it has a hole in the middle of it. Why are you punching the door like that? It can only take so much punishment before you knock it over me. Rather than getting to do your business, now you have a crime scene on your hands. And the victim is pantsless. He's pantsless, damn it. Is that what you want? Is it? <sighs> Moving on. The only thing worse than the FBI knocking your door down is having someone break in your stall. Toilets are supposed to be a stress-free environment. I mean, here you are, sitting down, living the time of your life. But then someone has the gall to walk in through your door like they own the place, as if there is no one in the stall, the bathroom, or the world who can stop them. Imagine trying to open a toilet door. It fails. Then you try again. Like there's something wrong with the door. There's nothing wrong with the door. Someone's inside. I locked it. Get the hell out of here. There's nothing more terrifying than these horrific moments when someone won't give up on trying to apply your door. Wait, is that a crowbar? <sighs> Speaking of horrific, why do public toilets have the biggest gaps between each stall? No, seriously. Every time someone enters the room, even if it was only to wash their hands, they get a peep show of what's going on in the toilet. And it's horrific on both sides. I didn't want to see that. I didn't want to see that you saw that. How come we've been glued to our phone screens all day, even in the toilet? But then the second you entered, we both decided to put our phones down and enter a staring contest. By the way, shout outs to the respectful people out there who knock at an appropriate volume. Wait, is it volume? Knock, a, knock at an appropriate volume. Knock at an appropriate volume. Knock at an appropriate sound level? No, no, that's wrong. I, I, you get it, okay? You guys are the unsung heroes. I love you. But you, you know how it is. You can't always expect to only deal with the saints in the toilets. I mean, at one point in middle school, someone actually poked their hands through into my stall. Someone poked their hands into my stall. Like from down under. It was terrifying. It was horrific. I was scarred for life. But don't worry, though. I stepped on it. So it's okay. But it did scar me for life. This is why nowadays I take precautions and live my life in search of hidden toilets. Toilets so hidden that no one knows about them except for me. It's always great to find these sort of places because you essentially find a toilet that's just for you, whether it was in your school or workplace or whatever, which is why I've decided to impart my wisdom for whenever you're back in school or office or wherever you go on a consistent basis where other people also go. It can be a cult for all I care. You do you. All I care about are your bathroom needs. That came out wrong. All right, tip one, find somewhere abandoned. Yeah, I know, obvious. But it is important nonetheless. Keep your eyes out for places that the majority of people don't go to. Although, don't go somewhere completely abandoned. That's just creepy. In my experience, toilets in close proximity of school labs are usually underutilized and kept clean. Simply put, people don't go to the lab unless they have lab class, which isn't a daily occurrence, which means their toilets are left to be clean and vacant. Jackpot. Tip two, the higher, the better. This is simple, really. But the rule is that the higher you go up a building, the less people there are. Now, this isn't an exact science, and it depends from building to building. What I've noticed is that this is more likely to work with buildings that are wholly owned by the same entity. So if it's a school building or, you know, a whole building for one company, you know, one of those megacorps owned by the evil final boss. Yep. 
But if the building houses many companies, you know, every floor has a company, then tough luck. Tip three, don't rat yourself out. Don't do it. Listen, I know more than anyone how compelling it is to share your stool life with others. It's great to post about how much of a smart person you are with your perceptive abilities, but they will find out who they. I don't know how, but back in high school, this great, fantastic, isolated, immaculate, beautiful, amazing bathroom it was the best. It was hidden in the corner of the school at the top floor. Became so popular. It became so disgusting. Just like any other toilet, once the word got out, it was such a shame to see such a beautiful place go to shambles. And I was forced to leave and find the next toilet and the next haven. Anyways, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, and learned something ab about toilets. I don't know. I mean, actually, on second thought, I hope you learned nothing. That was... Sorry I wasted your time. Although I personally learned that I am absolutely terrified of voice acting or voice recording or, you know, let's not make it sound professional. Just talking to yourself alone while being deathly afraid that others are listening to you. Hey, don't listen to me. Turn the... Mute the video. Just enjoy the subpar animation. It's great. I love it. And uh, uh, anyways, don't forget, just just don't forget.